viewers and welcome to another video here i'm going to show you how to run the mtm test it will give you which application you launch we're using microsoft test manager it will start the test and i will recommend you create action recording so it's a live recording basically so whatever you're doing that is recording and so therefore at the end of the day you check what gone wrong, what went wrong, what did I do wrong, why it has gone wrong, where it's gone wrong, and therefore you can remedy the part of the, of the test. You, if the, that probably some mistake, you can remedy this, and that is pretty useful in my opinion. Remember, if you predict what's going to happen. Well, this is the one you're going to predict is going to happen. Here I'm going to open the calculator, and by the way, you're probably going to be testing a new test case, just in pool on it. And here I expect the calculator form is open with no error, saying it has, I mark that as a pass. I accept as a pass. Here I'm going to enter 10 as first number text here, 10 to disappear, I let that pass. So if it's the one I expect, or at least close I expect, interpreting some uh, different, but accept it, I mark that as a pass. I enter 2B, so I number is only allowed. But however, I also expect the product, which is the label, to be updated and it should display 10. But it didn't, however. See, no label. Therefore, I mark that as a failed. And then, once I mark as a fail, you explain why it has failed. So I, so here I'm put inputting the text, and I tell you when the text respond, it should have update that label. It should start with the forward add, and then the text should be updated. See, once I enter 5.5, it didn't disappear because. So, therefore, it has fair. When I click divide, that results. When I leave close to that, when I enter 0, it's undefined, and that is the one I like. If it has a period infinity, I will mark that as a fair, but I mark all pass. And eventually, I go all through the out tests. Mark them at pass to show you are happy. At the end of the day, after you've done that test case, generally you gain a new idea like I should check out the label. This is why test case is needed. So you spot bugs, mistakes, and you go ahead and improve. Great way. Absolutely love that. And always save your test case. So we are pushing the end of this end of this video. And once again you need a subscription for this test manager and you need to own the you need to have an online. If you're still online, be a part of the team or create a team. And I think you need to be paid in order to do that. So please wait, subscribe, and comment on my failure. And I see you next time.